Batman is a character of great intelligence who assesses each individual situation and acts accordingly. He is very consistent, and right from the opening monologue, it is clear to the audience who this man is. This is a good representation of what a superhero with an INTJ personality would look like in the real world, and this is one of the most realistic portrayals of the DC superhero so far. And the creators of the movie did a great job presenting Bruce Wayne's dominant function. Most of the time, it's not easy to see it, but placed in a detective noir setting, his introverted intuition shines powerfully in a way we've never seen before. The internal monologues at the beginning of the movie show his use of NI. NI is Bruce's quick intuition, as well as his vision that helps him piece together the riddles and combine already existing data together. With new data to arrive at a conclusion, just look at how he analyzed the room in which the mayor of the city was killed. He has a knack for finding clues and solving crimes, which is probably due to his extensive training. But we can also see that he's great at picking up hunches, and that SE assists in noticing the small details around him. He's constantly seen forming conclusions first, and then following through with them. Take his conversation with Commissioner Gordon about the thumb drive Riddler was hinting at. Gordon immediately states, "Drive could mean anything," but Bruce maintains this hunch, insisting that they should check one of the cars. Lo and behold, his conclusion turned out to be correct. His focus is on the mission above all else. His extroverted thinking function manifests itself in his extreme and absolute way of thinking. He is not interested in Alfred's opinions or concerns, as he hates being told what to do. He insists on doing things in his own way. He likes having things organized. Take the scene where he needed to visually see his thoughts to completely understand everything. He had to lay out all the clues on his floor. He likes the planning and assessment to be quick and accurate, which again emphasizes his auxiliary TE. Introverted feeling. INTJ's TEFI makes more sense than INFJ's TIFE. This version of Bruce Wayne empathizes with people by using his own personal experiences in order to place himself in the shoes of people in similar situations. For example, the scene where he feels bad for the boy who just lost his father because of the Riddler, or his changed view on Selena after he found out she lost her mother too. Anger is the dominant emotion that drove Bruce to become Batman in the first place, and it is visible how much correcting the world means to him. He literally states that he fights for a cause, vengeance, for the death of his parents and for anyone who has ever felt the way he did. But when this perception is shattered, his values change, and he begins to self-reflect. His trauma has been a trigger for his FI throughout his life. And viewers can see it affecting him throughout the movie. Extroverted sensing, SE is a perceiving function that focuses on the objective reality. And throughout the movie, the character is in constant pursuit of the ideology of justice. So much so that he is unable to accept reality as it is presented. To say that he is a high SE user just because he can build the Batmobile and fight crime would not be enough to prove it. NI DOMs use SE consciously and unconsciously for tasks that require specific attention to the sensory and physical environment around them. His SE is utilized through this, and he taps into it, but only when it benefits his more dominant functions. He does not use this throughout his life in the way an auxiliary SE user would. His SE is only there to back up NI's ability to pick out patterns and connections. He's shown operating with SE for a short period of time, then going back to analyzing the information with NITE. He indulges in SE grip in the earlier parts of the movie, taking out the trauma of his past by hurting criminals. But over time, he recognizes how to re-engage his NITE to focus on helping citizens, as opposed to hurting criminals to carry out his revenge. At the beginning of the film, he says he doesn't know if he's making a difference because he can't see a difference in crime. By the end, he knows he's making a difference because he can see a difference in the people whose lives he's helped. Bruce Wayne is an INTJ, a less methodical version of one, but DC created a wonderful character. This film is much more emotional than Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, 
which was a logical take on the character. In that film, the battle between Joker and Batman was intellectual. The battle between Riddler and Batman in this latest movie is emotional. The movie begins with Bruce Wayne saying, "I am the shadows," an idea which can be expressed only by a deep and introverted person. The same goes for "I'm vengeance." His vision seems to be a mix of himself and Gotham City, as though these two are blended into one. He can't really be another type other than INTJ. Saying he must be a TI dominant because of how good of a detective he is is more of a stereotype. When you look at how he makes his decisions, it's based more on external group logic and internal self-value. He is solving a chain of interconnected riddles and puzzles by putting together the logic of the external world. Essentially, he is filtering TE through his NI. This Batman has a strong sense of his own moral and ethical code, and it's hard to believe that he is an FE user. I never thought I'd feel fear like that again. I thought I'd master all that. Fear is one of the most relevant themes of Robert Pattinson's Batman. Throughout the movie, viewers can observe the emphasis he puts on this concept, like feeling fear, learning how to dominate that fear, and eventually inflicting fear onto others. Through his symbol, he actively uses intimidation to stop or even prevent criminals from committing illegal acts, and he identifies himself with it. He lives inside his mind, always prioritizing intellect over action, despite having good management of both, which becomes self-evident in every single one of his interactions with the Riddler. The protagonist's struggle makes it almost impossible for us, the viewers, not to empathize with him and join his emotional journey. That is what sets this Batman movie apart from the older ones. We don't connect with him because he's a freak that comes out at night, but because of the similarities we have with him, the fears we feel, and the bad things we have done or think about doing. The movie is dark and melancholy and won't fit everyone's taste, but the quality of the storytelling it has to offer is undeniable. He concerns himself with the meaning of his vision. He troubles less about its further aesthetic possibilities than about the possible moral effects which emerge from its intrinsic significance. His judgment allows him to discern, though often only darkly, that he, as a man and as a totality, is in some way interrelated with his vision. That it is something which cannot just be perceived, but which also would fain become the life of the subject. Through this realization, he feels bound to transform his vision into his own life. But since he tends to rely exclusively upon his vision, his moral effort becomes one-sided. He makes himself and his life symbolic, adapted. It is true to the inner and eternal meaning of events, but unadapted to the actual present-day reality. Thank you for watching. Do you agree with our breakdown? If you enjoy our content and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel.